Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Scarlet Jake, and today I'll show you a review about Detroit Become Human. But first, we we'll must see the trailer so you can understand more about it. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened, but the hostage taker could be the family's android. Negotiator on site. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We need you to go. Can't, you can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor! There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did! You were designed to serve humans, not kill them! What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders! Now it's my turn to decide. him and I kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. It's up to you how the story ends. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. My name is Connor. This is our story. Alright, bro, uh, what you can actually see is you can actually understand what you're gonna do. It's mostly a game like uh, other games that you uh, mostly play, like The Walking Dead or Minecraft uh, Story, and uh, much more games that have decisions. However, this uh, kind of game makes the really great decisions that you'll actually see, and some of these decisions can actually uh, be death, but still. It can accomplish the objective that you're actually going to. So here, here's I'll show you a little bit of. Um, I'll go back to a video and I'll show you how this happened. 
So before doing the uh, quick time events or the decisions that will actually change the, the story, you can actually go ahead and change the, um, the more, make more decisions by actually finding clues. Here, uh, for example, you'll find the reason why he's actually doing this and, um, and the second reason and uh, what happened to the girl, like she, she actually didn't hear the shot. Uh, you'll also find um, many different uh, items you can use if you find it if you find the clues very well you'll actually have, can switch back time but without actually doing anything you'll just see an x-ray figure or some kind of a holographic figure it's like zoom for example and um, yeah these clues will help you find a decent item that will help actually help you Another thing is that uh, the item can actually help you and make the uh, quick time event or the decisions easier for you. But you can also do this by many other ways, which I'll show you in a minute. It's up to you how the story ends. It was this moment he, he made the wrong choice, he failed to do the objective and died also. Now with the clues done and everything, you know that you can do many actions even uh, without the clue and here are, are all the actions that the um, trailer uh, had for us. So to summon this after all, you will you will have a lot of choices you make. These choices can be death or live. However, wrong choices can lead to death also, but mission failed also. And um, yeah, that's it. that's the most game. It's gonna be so awesome when it comes out. Um, all I know about the game is that there's gonna be two uh, character playable characters, which I don't know the other one, but this this guy's name is already named Connor. And after all, you only have one thing. It's up to you how the story 